What is Rattlegram? Rattlegram is a free tech demo available on iOS and Android. It's made for transmission of short text messages from one device to the other device via audio. Also the opposite way around works. Let's start Rattlegram. In order for this to work, Rattlegram needs access to the microphone, so let's allow that. Now Rattlegram is ready to receive. Let's send a ping from one device to the other. This device just created sound that was picked up by the microphone from this iOS device. And as you can see, it says Anonymous got ping. Here it got logged as that we sent the ping. So we can do the same also from the other side. Let's do that. Now we see we sent the ping here and this device, this Android device, just picked it up. Now it would be nicer of course if it doesn't say just anonymous, so let's change that. We just change the call sign on this device. Let's use Android. Here. And let's use iOS on this device. Let's try again. Let's send from the Android device to the iOS device a ping. Aha, uh -huh. just received it. Let's answer. Ah, something went wrong. So let's put the devices a bit closer to each other and try again. It worked this time. So, this is pretty boring of course. Let's send a message. There. This message just got picked up by the iOS device. Let's answer. Oops. Nice. Now let's see how it looks like in the frequency domain. We can um, enable the spectrum analyzer here. And let's send the ping. That's it. That's the transmission in the frequency domain. And this is my voice. We can get also fancy. Let's enable the fancy header and transmit the call sign over the, speak the spectrum. As you can see there, the call sign was transmitted over the spectrum. So, let's disable the fancy header again. And let's see how short, in what short time we can transmit this message. So we disable the leading noise. It's really this short. It's just one second. I can prove you. Let's send a longer message. It was really this short. And now let's look back in the list. There it is. There is the message. Okay. Now, for what was this leading noise? The leading noise is usually um, needed for 
handheld devices or for uh, any ham radio or also CB radio um, to activate either um, the Vox so we don't have to press the PDT button while transmitting or uh, and also it is needed for the other device, the receiving device to open the squelch. So instead of um, cutting the message short we just cut off the leading noise which is uh, unimportant. So one second is per default but if you think you need more you can just go up up to four seconds and then it's much longer. Let's also watch how it looks like on the spectrum analyzer. As you can see the transmission is now much longer because of all the leaning noise in front of it. What else can we say? Here for example the carrier frequency. The thing is uh, if your device, if your transmission device or your receiving device has a better signal to noise ratio on a lower frequency then you might want to send the message on a lower carrier frequency. And let's um, show that uh, here. We can also enable the spectrum analyzer. Let's first send the message how it is. It's around here. And now let's change the carrier frequency to a lower one, like I don't know, 1200. That should be fine. So you see it sounds much deeper and also here on the spectrum analyzer the message was more to the left which is a lower frequency. We can also do the opposite. We can increase the frequency if that will give us a better signal to noise ratio. Let's try that. You hear the sound is much more higher pitched. But it all got through. So, if you are interested in the privacy policy, just find it here and uh, you see we are really respecting your privacy and the only thing we need from this um, uh, data that we uh, uh, capture from the microphone is uh, to decode the COF DM TV signal. This is our technology by iCodex. And this is the only thing um, we are using it for. And also, of course, the spectrum analyzer. If you are interested in the um, source code, it is available online on GitHub. And also here on this Android device, we see this little warning here, because the Android app allows a little bit more than the iOS device. The iOS device more or less is uh, automatically um, getting the native resolution and so on but on iOS unfortunately this is not so easy. So we decided to just give you all the settings there are. So if you use a higher sample rate you can go to higher frequencies. Let's demonstrate that. Let's go to 48. Now we can use a much higher carrier frequency. Let's wrap around here. As you can see, they go much higher now. Let's use something like 16,000 or so. You won't hear this transmission, but it will get through. Or maybe not. Let's put them closer to each other. Hmm. 
Maybe it's not loud enough. Let's put it higher. Loudspeaker noise. Let's try again. Ah, now it worked. So, um, the higher the frequency gets, the higher the attenuation is, because these loudspeakers are attenuating um, noises that are above the hearing range. With the microphone, it's uh, usually so that they pick up uh, much higher frequencies. So, um, I think that's it. This was the demonstration of Retrogram. I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching.